It was an old problem dating back to the 1700s, involving the historic Prussian city of Konigsberg. This problem asked, is there a way to walk the bridges? Konigsberg was a city that was divided up between a couple islands and some land masses with this river running through the middle, connected by seven bridges. And so the question asked, is there a way to walk those bridges such that you traverse each bridge exactly once? This problem caused immense frustration as people on their evening walks would try to find such a path. You can go down a bridge and up another and along another and find some path that will let us cross each bridge exactly once. The great mathematician Euler discovered a solution to this problem. And in doing so, he invented a new field of mathematics called graph theory. Here was Euler's insight. Euler's insight is you don't need any information about the length of the bridge or, or the area of the landmass, so we can abstract that all away. We can represent each landmass as just a point or a vertex of our graph. And we can represent the bridges as just edges connecting those vertices. And so what we end up with is instead of having land masses that are connected by bridges, we get a simple abstract picture of four vertices that are connected by seven edges. Now, we can begin to think about this. Crossing the bridges is going to be traversing the edges. We're trying to find some path that covers each each edge exactly once. Let's call this path an Eulerian path, the Euler's honor. An Eulerian path will cross each edge once. What will happen in such a path? Well, you have to begin at some point. And then you leave that vertex, giving it degree 1. You may come back to the vertex as you walk the path, but then you'll have to leave it again. Its vertex would increase, its degree would increase to 3. You may enter and leave again, and then its degree would increase to 5. But notice the degree will always be odd. Because whenever you enter, you have to exit again, increasing it by 2. Also, at the terminating point, you have to finish there, giving it degree 1. Now, maybe sometime along the path, you had already passed through there, increasing its degree to 3. Or maybe you had passed through it twice, increasing its degree to 5. But notice, yet again, its degree will always remain odd. For all the points you pass through in between, for each one, you'll have to enter and then exit. Perhaps you'll enter and exit more than once. But whatever the case, if you pass through once or twice or three times or however many times, those will all have degree even. That is, Euler's insight, which we now call Euler's theorem, is that if there exists an Eulerian path, then your graph must be of a special nature, where you have a starting and ending vertex that have odd to degree, so you must have two vertices of odd degree, and all the other vertices in between must be even. This allowed Euler to crack the problem. Let's look at it again. We have four vertices. The first one is degree 3. The second one is degree 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, degree 5. The next one is degree 3, and the last one is <coughs> degree 3. Therefore, by Euler's theorem, there won't exist an Eulerian path. 
Incidentally, in World War II, the Soviet Union bombed the city. And as a result, two of the bridges were destroyed. So thanks to this bombing campaign, by destroying two of the bridges, they changed the degree of the vertices. Now, we have to degree 2, degree 3, degree 3, and degree 2. There are two vertices of odd degree, and all the others are even. So present day, you can walk the bridges and create an Eulerian path. That won't do it. So let's begin one that wants an odd degree. You can walk. We go up. We go down, down, and up, creating an Eulerian path. There's a variant of an Eulerian path called an Eulerian cycle. And what an Eulerian cycle requires is not just that you have a path that crosses each edge once, but you also add the requirement that you start and finish at the same point, turning the path into a loop or a cycle. When you have an Eulerian path, now notice your starting point becomes a terminating point. So rather than those each having odd degrees, those will act like all the other vertices. You begin, you'll exit, you'll go and do various things to the other ones, but then you must end back in that vertex, giving it an even degree. Maybe sometime throughout, you have passed through it already, but it's still going to keep the degree as even. Euler's theorem then changes for an Eulerian cycle to say that it's not going to be just two vertices of all degree, but you're going to have all vertices of even degree. In fact, Euler's theorem states something stronger. It's that the converse is also true. In the case of cycles, whenever you have some graph where all of the edges have even degree, then you'll be able to find an Eulerian cycle in that graph. For instance, here we have a graph where all the vertices have degree 4. So, Eulerian, so Euler's theorem says you should be able to find the Eulerian cycle inside of this graph. How might you do it? One of the ways is called Flewey's algorithm. It simply says, do the obvious thing at each step. Begin at some vertex, travel along an edge, keep traveling along edges, thinking that as you're traveling along it, you're erasing those edges. And do your best not to disconnect the graph. You don't want to isolate yourself in some point by itself. But if you do that, Fluey says, then you'll end up creating a cycle that hits every edge exactly once.